What's going on, YouTube? And welcome to the game that raises your blood pressure and shaves off three years off your life gameplay. And in today's video, guys, we're talking about why everybody is seen in so many low levels in their lobbies. Um, this is pretty much leading everyone to believe that skill-based matchmaking is gone and that there is no more skill-based matchmaking and that skill-based matchmaking has been significantly toned down. But I am here to tell you that that is bullshit. I told you guys last video I made that I didn't believe that SBMM was toned down and how SBMM is still prevalent in this game. I told you guys that and how even if it was toned down, it was toned down so marginally that it made no difference at all. And i am turned out to be right. Um, SBMM is not going to go away. SBMM is going to be in Call of Duty for the rest of our lives. And that's just the bricks. And people are going to have to get used to that. If they want to continue to play Call of Duty, they're going to have to continue to sweat their balls off. In order to be able to play, you have to be able to compete 110%. And you have to try your absolute hardest to do well. That's just the attitude you have to have to play Call of Duty now. Whenever I get on, and if I just want to play something relaxing, I do not play this game. I either play Zombies or I play Fortnite. That's the only time I can play a game that I don't really care about competing in, and I just want to play. That's it, right? But if you want to play this game right here, you have to be ready to compete, and that's the breaks. Honestly, guys, um, skill-based matchmaking is not toned down at all. It never was toned down. The only reason you're seeing these low levels in your lobbies is because people got the game for Christmas. And the people who got the game for Christmas, they had played Modern Warfare. They played Modern Warfare, and they have stats from Modern Warfare that are putting them in your sweat pit lobbies. That is why you are getting these fucking low levels. Because I'm telling you right now, I just played against a level 32. This guy was one of the biggest tryhards I have ever played against. He had the goth female character skin, and he was booty sliding and bunny hopping with an MP5. This guy is not a level 32. He was a certified moderate to severe acne virgin sweat, and that, that was like, wow. I knew it. I was like, yo, these low levels, like, they have pretty good aim. They know how to play the game. And they play exactly like Modern Warfare mouth breathers. They fucking camp in corners, they have field mics everywhere, and they play like modern Snorfare players. You could tell. You could tell these are Modern Warfare mouth breathing retards. And that's just who's playing the game right now, honestly. And the ones who are moving around, they're the Modern Warfare bunny hopping nerd sweats who use the anime skins. All these people are from Modern Warfare because Activision tracks all of your stats from every single Call of Duty game that you have played that is on the same account. It may not track your PS3 and Xbox 360 stats. That may be a bit of a stretch, but they are for sure tracking from COD Ghosts all the way to Black Ops Cold War. If you've played all those games, they have a huge profile on you like the fucking FBI of how you play the game, your stats in every game, your weapons you use in every game, your score per minute in those games, and they implement them into the skill-based matchmaking system if you make an Activision account that is linked to your PlayStation account or Xbox account or PC account that you've played all these other games on. I'm telling you guys that. That is why you are seeing these low levels. They are not true noobs. They are not Christmas noobs. They are Christmas sweats. That's it. They have played Modern Warfare or they have played some other form of Call of Duty and they are good at Call of Duty. If they are in your lobbies, they are good at the game. Do not let this shit fool you. I always tell you guys this. Rank is not indicative of skill. I told you guys this last video. Those level 10s and 15s you see in the lobby, they are some of the sweatiest sweats known to man. They are no different from you and I. They are good at the game. They are either bunny hopping nerd sweats or Modern Warfare camping mouth breathers. I'm telling you guys this. Modern Warfare has ruined Call of Duty. It has ruined it. Modern Warfare is the worst thing to happen to Call of Duty since loot boxes. Like, I knew it would suck. I was really hyped for Modern Warfare, like, before it came out. And when I played it, I was like, this game is fucked. Because I didn't play the beta. I, I didn't pre-order the game. So I didn't get access to the beta. I didn't play the beta. I played it the first time on launch. The first game I had fun, the rest of it, I was like, yo, this shit's fucked. I knew this game was gonna be chalked the minute I played it, but with its super strict sweat-based matchmaking, 
it fucking doomed the franchise because that game succeeded. So Activision, you know, Activision doesn't play games. The Activision shareholders don't play games. They just see, oh, wow, Modern Warfare did well, so we're going to make another game just like Modern Warfare. And then you get Black Ops Cold War. So that's pretty much what's going to be the next Call of Duty. 2021 Call of Duty is going to be exactly like Modern Warfare because Modern Warfare and Black Ops Cold War succeeded because people are stupid and they bought the game. I mean, I'm playing the game, so I guess I'm fucking stupid too. Um, And it's going to keep succeeding. The only way to get rid of this stuff is to not play the game anymore. Do not buy Call of Duty 2021. If you have got Cold War for Christmas, take that shit back. Do not play it. Do not force yourself to play it. If you haven't played the game, Call of Duty, in a long time, this is not the series you once loved and played. I'm telling you right now, it is something else. Since Modern Warfare succeeded, we're going to get an insanely annoying trickle-down effect from that bullshit game. We're going to get skill-based matchmaking. We're going to get terrible connections. We're going to get terrible maps, everything bad about Modern Warfare is going to seep and infect the Call of Duty franchise. Modern Warfare is like COVID, bro. The shit broke out, and it's out of control now. All the shitty, mouth-breathing, moronic players that game has spawned is going to continue to infest the Call of Duty community. Like, it is a shit show, and it's just going to continue to affect the Call of Duty community. The fact that Modern Warfare succeeded is the worst thing to happen to COD. It's worse than loot boxes, bro. What's going on in Call of Duty right now is worse than loot boxes. I fucking swear to God... I mean, I love the microtransaction system now. I love the blueprints. I like that stuff. The monetization stuff is all fine and dandy. But everything else is objectively worse. Everything else is objectively worse. You cannot look me in the eye and tell me the product we have now is better than Black Ops 4. You cannot do that. Matter of fact, Black Ops 4 was trending yesterday. Black Ops 4, honestly, is an underrated Call of Duty, and is going to be underrated. It's going to be in the conversation for one of the most underrated Call of Duties ever. Alright, Black Ops 4 is so underrated and so underappreciated, it's insane. Black Ops 4 was a pretty good game, honestly. Like, yeah, we gave it a lot of shit at the time because of the terrible microtransaction system. Um... The specialist cheese was kind of annoying, but one thing I'll give you that game, that game was fun as fuck. Honestly, for all the cheese in that game, it was so fun, dude. Troll people with torque. You could use Spectre and it would slice people up. The weapons were kind of fun to use, especially the crossbow. Like, that game was fun, dude. Despite all the cheese in that game, it was fun. Whenever I saw a bunny hopping female character skin sweat, I just threw on the strobe light and trolled the fuck out of them. And it, it gave me so much joy, dude. Black Ops 4, the strobe light in itself made Black Ops 4 such a fun fucking game, dude. <laughs> if you, The problem with reason people didn't like Black Ops 4 is they take COD too seriously. That's the reason people didn't like Black Ops 4. Because they took they take COD so fucking seriously. They're like, oh, we need to make it so competitive. And that's why they hated it. Anybody who just liked Call of Duty and just played Call of Duty because they liked the core gameplay of Call of Duty, they liked Black Ops 4. If you didn't like Black Ops 4, you were some, you know, moderate to severe acne loser, modern warfare mouth breather. That's the only people who didn't like Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4 was a severely underrated game. I give that game a lot of shit. All right, don't get it twisted. That is not a great game, but it is a it is a 7 out of 10. And a 7 out of 10 now to Call of Duty is like amazing. <laughs> Anybody who gives any Call of Duty that came out in the last 8 years anything above a 7 out of 10 doesn't know shit about COD, and that's facts. If you give World War II anything above a 7 out of 10, you're dumb. If you give Modern Warfare anything above a 3 out of 10, you're dumb. If you give Black Ops 3 anything above a 5 out of 10, you're fucking stupid. I'm sorry, that's just my opinion. Alright, that's my opinion. No Call of Duty that's coming out in the past 8 years, alright? Black Ops 2 was the last great Call of Duty. Any Call of Duty that's not coming out... After that period, doesn't know shit about the franchise. And that's facts. Every other one has been average to below average at best. Black Ops 2 was the last good Call of Duty. It was the last one. 
Ghost was fucking terrible. Advanced Warfare is the worst Call of Duty of all time. Black Ops 3 is hella overrated and is average at best. Um, which of Infinite Warfare is overhated, but it's like a 5, 4 out of 10 at best. World War 2 is pretty decent. I'll give that game like a 6.5, 7 out of 10. Black Ops 4 is a 7 out of 10. Um, Modern Warfare is a 3 out of 10. And Black Ops Cold War, at best, is a 6 out of 10. At best. Okay? That's it. Every other Call of Duty that's come out in the past 8 years is so average. It's unbelievable. Average to below average this franchise has been. Do not get fooled by the hype, guys. We're fucked. This series is in the absolute gutter. I'm, I'm pissed, bro. You guys are drinking the Kool-Aid if you think skill-based matchmaking has been tuned down. If anything, it's worse than ever. If anything. Because all the sweats from Modern Warfare have hopped onto this game, bro. So there's even more sweats than there was before. You're going to have an even worse time. And that's on God. I wish you the best, man. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to play this game anymore. I left a comment on my last video talking about, dude, I don't think I can do this to myself anymore. I'm done. So that's the breaks, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. What is the most overrated, the most underhated Call of Duty to you in the uh, comment section below? Let me know. It's your boy Cameron. I'm out.